month. I am on VanityDeep.com and this is the update for Jesse Smollett. It says Jesse Smollett loses on Secret Sale in Studio City. Um, it is done by Mark David, the article. But first, we're going to get in the gallery. I'm guessing that is the garage. Let's see, it says uh, price. 1.655 million, 1.6 million, uh, 2,597 square feet, 3 million, 3 million, 5 million, 5 million, 5 million, 5 million, 5 million, Yeah. Nice little deck area, hangout area. I'm pretty sure it has a great view. Oh yeah, that view is says Jesse Smollett has sold his San Fernando Valley view home in the foothills of Studio City, California to a non-famous couple and the Kleinstein off-market deal valued at 1.65 million. Unfortunately for legally begaggled former uh, Empire star fired in the wake of a controversial dismissed 16 count felony indictment brought for allegedly staging a fake hate crime with him as a victim didn't have much luck on the real estate Murray go round not counting carrying costs improvements expenses and real estate fees Smollett took a $30,000 loss on the hillside contemporary bungalow that as it was sussed out by the blast he snooped uh, excuse me he scooped up during a better professional days a bit more than two years ago for 1.687 million because the deal happened on the down low, not much is known about the current configuration and condition of the property, tax records, digital market materials from the time of his purchase, and other online resources, however, indicate the house is invisible behind secure gates and a towing roll of pivot hedges with three bathrooms and 3.5 um, three bedrooms excuse me and 3.5 bathrooms and the and close to 2600 square feet at the time of Smollett's purchase the upper level of the two-story home encompassed 
a combination of living slash dining room and open kitchen with an over the treetop north facing mountain view along with guest bedrooms and a couple of uh, revenerated <coughs> bathrooms. Downstairs, in addition to a private study slash office and another bathroom, there was a spacious master suite complete with two walk-in closets, a marble tile bathroom, and French doors to the slender deck with a throughout the telephone wires view across the valley. Let me see. According to the listing descriptions from the time, the property was also equipped with a camera, equipped with security system, built in surround sound, and a nest thermostat. Let's see. And then down here. It says Smollett has understandably laid low the last several months and was recently reported to be camping out in New York while working on a new project and lining up work was cleared of all charges in March but is still mirrored in the tangled legal aftermath of the ugly embargo. Excuse me, embroiled. He not only starting down from 130,000 loss. He's not only staring down at 130,000 lawsuit brought by the city of Chicago to recover money spent investigating the alleged hoax, but a special prosecutor's review was called by the Cook County judge and back in March Donald Trump weighed in uh, by tweet to say FBI and DOJ would also be reviewing the case, although it is not clear if that is happening. And that is the end of the um, article. Uh, basically, nice home, very nice home. I'm not even going to lie. It's a nice place, a really nice place. A little too pricey, but a nice place. If it's just me, and I have guests, okay, I understand you have a guest guest room and stuff like that, but just for one person, I mean, I guess, you know, but for whatever, if you got it, you got it. Um, what do y'all think about this? Is it just uh, something that you know is a sad deal? because he lost it or you know he missed a hundred and thirty thousand things like that um and more so do you think that he would be able to come back from um the scandal of the hoax and you know dependent legal things that he has going on sound off in the comments and let me know until then you guys i am madam 81 and i will talk to you guys later this time it's from the Cargo Tribune. And this one, it says, Jesse Smollett's attorney returned to the court Wednesday in bid to overturn special prosecutor. This article is done by a woman named Megan. Um, I'm not going to butcher her name. My apologies for that. So I will just call her Megan C. Um, Attorneys for Jesse Smollett are due back in court on Wednesday in their uphill battle for a Cook County judge to overturn his decision to appoint a special prosecutor to investigate the dismissal of all charges against the actor. Smollett's attorney, attorneys are also seeking a transfer to issue uh, to another judge. Uh, excuse me, I'm getting tongue tied. <laughs> to another judge, arguing Judge Thomas Tuman is too biased to make the decision. Sheila O'Brien, a retired state's appellate judge 
who successfully fought for a special prosecutor has attacked validly of their feelings alleging in part that Smollett out of state attorney weren't properly licensed to practice in Illinois at the Smollett's criminal case came to an abrupt end in March. Smollett, who was black and openly gay, created a international media firestorm in late January when he reported being the victim of an attack by two shouting racist and homophobic slurs. Weeks later, he was criminally charged for allegedly staging the attack with the help of two brothers whom police say he agreed to pay $3,500 less than three weeks after his 16 count indictment. However, state's attorney Kim Fox office dropped all charges against Smollett with little explanation. And uh, it says the twisting legal saga took another strange turn in June when two men said he would appoint a special prosecutor to look into the sudden dismissal. While the judge has not yet named his choice for special prosecutor, his <clears throat> eventual pick could even charge Smollett again. Earlier this month, in the long shot bid, two men to reconsider Smollett's attorney laid out their defense in great in the greatest detail yet, claiming that the actor had twice been victimized, first when he was attacked by the two homophobic brothers, and then when the brothers framed him by lying to the police. And this is the writer of the um, the article, Megan C. You can um, check out her page. And there you have it. A short article. Um, but nevertheless, it's news. It's still going on with this Jesse Smollett. I'm going to do my best to keep uh, you informed and keep you up to date about what's going on. So, I want to thank everyone that has watched my videos, um, the likes, the dislikes, the good and negative comments, and everything, so on and so forth. It is appreciated. And until then, you guys, I will talk to you guys later.